Hello and welcome to the Thursday, September 21st, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. The Locky ransomware is just not going away and also its script really doesn't change that much. Just really sort of some subtle changes. On Monday, people reported that they saw Locky with emails with the subject line, your payment and SIP attachments. Well, uh, today we have a report here from Renato and a little write up about it that changed the subject to status invoice and the attachment is now a RAR file. As typical for Locky, once you unpack the attachment, you end up with a JavaScript file that will then download the actual malware. Well, overall, I think the best protection against Locky and a lot of uh, these types of malware is not to allow compressed JavaScript files as an attachment. Don't really see a lot of valid uses for this. Even being a developer, doing quite a bit of web development myself with JavaScript, can't really remember when I ever sort of exchanged JavaScript in an email via a compressed file. For developers, there are really plenty of other ways how you can exchange files that don't rely on attaching them to an email. And exposed Amazon S3 storage is still a big thing and looks like it's not going away. The latest high profile victim here is Viacom. Now Viacom is a big media company behind, for example, MTV and Nickelodeon. And the S3 bucket exposed here, it didn't really contain customer data per se, but what researchers found instead were really, really the keys to the kingdom here. It was a Puppet repository. If you're not familiar with Puppet, Puppet is a software that can be used to manage a Linux servers in particular. And in this case, it had passwords, access keys, and the like for these Linux servers. Also, access credentials for Viacom's AWS infrastructure, which of course could have been used for a widespread compromise. Appears that the researchers here were quick enough to notify Viacom before any significant damage was done. But this is yet not a reminder to make sure that your S3 buckets are configured correctly. We are seeing a lot of these compromises lately and more and more tools also to automatically find in this exposed data. Now, yesterday, Apple, of course, released its updates and we didn't have any details about the security updates for watchOS and tvOS. Turns out that uh, these updates affected exclusively security issues with Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi drivers here have been updated on affected devices. On iOS, however, we do have a first report of a significant problem and it affects the Apple Mail Client and Outlook 365. Apparently, it can no longer sync mail accounts. Apple is supposedly working on a fix. You can still use Microsoft's Outlook app on these devices in order to gain access to your account. Not 100% sure yet what the exact detail of the problem is, but one of the vulnerabilities being addressed in this update was a problem with Exchange Active Sync, which did fix the auto discover protocol and started to require TLS, for example, for auto discover version one and auto discover version two is now supported. So maybe part of this update now no longer is able to connect to Microsoft's Outlook 365 servers. And to make things inverse for Equifax, looks like there has been some confusion and bad coordination within Equifax when it came to the cleanup site they set up, Equifax Security 
2017. Some Equifax publications on Twitter did reference another domain, Security Equifax 2017. So just Equifax and Security swapped. Well, uh, that domain is actually not owned by Equifax. Doesn't seem to be malicious at this point. It's just down. I just uh, try to connect and see what happens, but it doesn't appear to be owned by Equifax either. Firefox and other browsers will label this particular domain as deceptive, so you should be reasonable safe. But of course, uh, this is a real nice target to collect information that has been stolen again from victims. Well, that is it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.